I play a character called Eddie, who's a army veteran, who's struggling with uh, sort of coming to terms with uh, what he sort of, what he experienced in the war in Af Afghanistan and Iraq, and it's about his relationship with his wife Jackie and how that's that, the strain that, that's put on that relationship as he he struggles to come to terms with the trauma that he experienced, uh, and, and sort of the journey of him working through that and. Uh, you know, going through the, the, the health system, you know, through like GPs and therapy and things like that. And not only did you write the film Unload, you produced it, you directed it. How has that experience been for you? It's, it was tough. Um, it, it's, it's hard to know when, when to wear which, which hat, really, particularly when you're shooting. Luckily, I had a fantastic team with me. Um, uh, Laura, Lindsay and Ash Tidball, particularly. Ash was the director of photography and Laura was the director of performance and they were great at taking jobs away from me and I could trust them to get to make sure that they were done and I could just focus on being an actor. Um, it was a really good team that we had going and everyone involved, everyone chipped in, it was a real ensemble piece, really satisfying. And I know that you want to <coughs> film to help people who do have PTSD, how do you hope that the film will help people? I really hope that the film will help people in a few ways. I hope that it will help people who are suffering to recognise themselves or, or their loved ones and to encourage them to sort of come forward and seek help and seek the help that is out there. I also hope that it'll help therapists as a training tool uh, and NHS staff or health staff, anyone who's involved with veterans to to show them what kind of approach is needed when dealing with veterans and also anyone really who's, who's got a mental health problem, you know, that it, it can be so isolating and I hope the film will help people feel that they're not alone and that, and that they can recognise themselves in the character. And I also hope as well on top of that that the public in general, whoever sees it, will just help to understand it a little bit more and find it a little bit less scary, uh, the whole mental health thing that people have this stigma towards. Uh, that, that's my sort of ultimate aim, I think, to break that down. And how long did the film take to make and how much did it cost? Because I know you crowdsourced and got financing from numerous places. Uh, the film uh, has taken just over a year, I think, to finish. It started off as a theatre monologue, which I performed in October 2013, which seems forever ago. Uh, and then we were commissioned to make that into a film. So it, it, it's been a long journey. We actually filmed it in September, I think it was, August, September, and then we've had a pretty tight edit to get it ready for, for, uh, for today. Cost-wise, we're probably looking at about £50,000 to make the film, but um, th over 30000 of that is still to be paid. <laughs> so we're hoping to get some more investment. Here we are. It's your premiere night. How do you feel? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm excited, a little bit nervous, a um, lot of things to think about, a lot of people to thank, just hoping that it goes down well. I'm, I'm sure it will, I'm really happy with it. And so what is next for the film in terms of people getting to see it? Um, if people want to see the film, they can uh, contact me and re request a copy. We can offer it by DVD, Blu-ray or on download link and that should be fine and also hopefully we'll be able to put together this this uh, schedule of, of screenings all over the country so we'll be able to keep people uh, keep people up to date on, on where those might be and when